Hey there, welcome to Odonet. And today I want to talk about the dev labs that are located on the developer site for ArcGIS.com. So the dev labs are really cool. The dev labs are a series of guides that take about 15 minutes or less that will help you build apps. And the guides are broken up into three different sections, data, design, and develop. So for example, here you can see a in the intro tab, you get a really quick look at what is encompassed part of the data section. So you got things like uh, how to import data. They have a, a lesson on how to create a new data set. They have an estimated time, so these are just 10 minutes, right? Uh, they have design, uh, how to style a web map, how to configure pop-ups, and develop. They've got things like how to create a 2D map with the layer, how to create a 3D scene with the layer. That's really cool. You can see here, it's five for data, five for design, and they got 30 for develop. And we'll uh, take a quick look at some of those in a second here. So let's look at the data ones. So they've got import data, create new data set. We saw those. They've got discover data. This is really cool. It suggests that if you want to, uh, if you're using the online platform at all, and you actually want to find data sets in online, check this session out because there's a lot of data that you have access to as part of your a developer account or your full-blown ArcGIS online account that you get access to. And you can use those data sets to do things with geo enrichment and other things and kind of modify that data to fit your needs. Uh, how to share content, uh, prepare data for offline use. This is if, you're, if, you got, if you guys got pro and you want some offline usage in one of the native SDKs or something like that, you can prepare like a mobile map package and do some pretty cool, hacks, uh, cool stuff with this. Uh, so we got design here design. I'm horrible at design, so I need to look at this kind of stuff a lot. Uh, create a web map, create a web scene, but then you have things like style the web map, uh, configure the pop-ups, and have smart mapping uh, session in here too. So definitely recommend uh, you guys uh, go through these, like the smart mapping for sure, style the web map, configure pop-ups. I try and tell people all the time um, they're trying to do weird things with the pop-ups in their apps. No, just for most things you can get away with configuring the pop-up in online, in your web map, or in the, in the layer itself, and then just bring the item in, and everything's just going to work as it should. Um, you can totally get carried away with the pop-up stuff, but most of the time people don't need that level of detail. So this is a really good one to cover as well. It's only five minutes, guys. Come on, you've got five minutes. And then we got develop. Now this is where the, the, all the really fun stuff starts, right? So if you've got sessions here on the JavaScript API, um, everything about creating layers, to creating web maps, graphics, uh, search and geocode, how to access private layers. This has to do with the OAuth authentication stuff. I highly recommend you check this one out. They've got Android SDK stuff. I haven't touched Android in years, so I'd be lost here. Um, and then we got uh, iOS SDK stuff as well, which they, they kind of cover the same materials uh, between all of them. You'll notice in here, it's like create maps, display maps. Search and geocode are, are here as well. Um, the same comes down here to uh, iOS, how to create maps and everything else. Display a map while offline, so you get the benefit there with the native SDKs. Maybe in the next video here, I'll try uh, doing the iOS SDK. It says something like this only takes like 15 minutes to create a basic project. So let's see if I can do it in less time than that. I'm pretty dumb. Let's see if I can figure it out. Uh, Java SDK, I'm not going to install uh, Java, but you know, if you want to, go for it. You guys have fun. Crap, I think I got Java anyway. Okay, no matter. I'm not going to write Java, but um, yeah, I know you Java guys are out there going to love this stuff. Uh, the Mac OS SDK, so it shows you how to do stuff there. And the .NET SDK. Uh, Qt. So you got some Qt stuff in here, guys. Come on, you guys. You'll learn how to use Qt. So there's a lot of stuff here in the dev apps. And like I said, they're all really short. I mean, everything in here is like 10, 15 minutes. I think this 20 minutes one, Access to Private Layer, it's like the longest one I've seen in here so far. And really, I've, I've looked at this lesson. I don't think it would even take you 20 minutes. This, I think that's a very um, uh, long estimate on the time for that. Realistically, I think you do it less than that. Especially if you've already done these first ones here for JavaScript API, and then you do this one last. You already have a hang of most of this stuff. You'll be good to go. So try these out. There's a lot. They're a lot of fun. Uh, let me go to the data one. I'll show you how just kind of how this thing works here. So if you start the lab, it's going to give you a nice little overview of what you're going to do, what the goal of the lab is, how to get things done. Gives you requirements. So most of the requirements for the labs are going to be having a free uh, developer account. So remember, the developer accounts are free. And you get full access to use ArcGIS Online and do some pretty cool stuff. 
Um, so you see step one is just download the data set. Step two is sign in. I've already signed in. And if you go here, oh, I got to sign in for. Um, uh, yep, it says right here, go over the question mark. You need to sign in so you can save your data to ArcGIS to developers. All right, that makes sense. Okay. And they have these little information tabs here. If you want a little bit more info on a particular step, um, tabs you right here a little bit more. So importing a data set creates a new hosted feature layer in ArcGIS Online. So that you know how that thing works. And then tabs here when you go to my content, um, browse the tabs, become more familiar with the data and available tools. And it's going to give you a nice little information about that as well. So let's go in here. I've already signed into my account. So what am I supposed to do? Dashboard, new layer, drop file here, select file. Okay. Dashboard, click here, new layer. All right. Drop file here. Look at that. Look how convenient that is. So I'm going to grab this zip file that made me download. Um, what is this thing? I didn't even open it. Let me open, let me open it real quick. I don't even know what it's supposed to be. Oh, no, I got to, I'm not supposed to download, I'm not supposed to dump that one in. I got to unzip it first. All right, give me a second. Okay, so first, it's just parks and open space. Ah, shape files. Old school. All right. So parks and open space. So dump that in. Shape file. Upload. Creating a new layer. And I'm good to go. And I can just go ahead here, enter a tag, and know I'm going to do it. Test, that's right, that's right, I did it. I'm not scared. Uh, layer only with me. I'm not going to have any groups. I'm not going to put my GeoDiv group. Uh, I'm not going to enable any editing. Nope, no editing for me. Create that layer. And there you go. Now it's going to create that hosted feature layer for you inside the ArcGIS platform. And you're going to be good to go. Oh, come on, mother. Shape file. Shape file. I bet your CSV wouldn't be faster. There we go. Oh, yeah. And bam, there we go. There's my data set. Get me a nice little preview in here. Look at that. Oh, oh. Got stupid magic mouse. Jesus. Piece of shit. There we go. Bam. Look at that. I zoomed too fast. Wow. There. Okay. So it's simplifying the geometries because there's so many vertices in here that that's what, that's what this little weirdness is going on there. I bet you that's what it is. Generalization for the geometries. Make this look a little weird. But anyway, you get the idea. So now I've uploaded the data. That was quick. I don't even think that took me a couple minutes. And I got two more data sets I can upload to show you. But I just wanted to go through that lesson real quick. Give you an idea of what it's like to go through one of these lessons and how easy it is. And then uh, sometimes you'll find that some of these will have this challenge section. And it's just an extra step you could do. It's not part of the um, actual lab. But if you want to take that extra step, go a little gung-ho, do a little bit more stuff. There's a challenge section here for you to try out. So check out the Dev Labs, great resource if you want to get into the ArcGIS online platform, uh, learn how to you know work with data, design it, and develop it. Thanks. Mm -hmm.